<laughs> Hello everybody. It's so good to be back. <laughs> it's so 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 good to be back and we have a lot to discuss today. A lot to discuss. So as we're walking, we will be discussing and talking <laughs> and learning. Yeah. Happy Saturday, everyone. How's your weekend going? It's raining. Can you hear the sound of the rain? <laughs> it's raining here. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to see your comments for now. <laughs> since, but as the program is going, I'll like to. I'll be answering. They'll be letting me know your questions, and I'll be answering. So, can we get started? Is everybody ready? Father, we thank you. We are so grateful. Thank you for this you have done. It is your doing and it is marvelous in our sight. We give you the glory, we give you the honor, we give you adoration. Jesus, this is to lift you up in every way. That the focus will not be on me but on you, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way. Move, heal your people to the glory of your name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hello everybody, welcome to the very first episode of Healing Recipes with Lagos Housewife. And yes, that is the name God gave, not me. I wanted to do uh, cooking with Lagos Housewife as I did before. And God said, no, healing recipes. So I'm not the one that is healing. He's the one that's healing. So don't get it confused. I have no power in me. It is the Holy Spirit who does everything. And these recipes are not about say, oh, this is good for diabetic, oh, this is good for hypertension. No, it's not about that. It's about cooking with nature, ingredients that God created, because in it is, it, is our wholeness, is our health. So that's what this is about. And today I will be making potato in minced meat and veggies. I love this recipe. And funny thing, when I was thinking of the re a recipe to cook, and I was thinking this discard, thinking this discard, and the Holy Spirit just said, do this. And I was like, okay, that's what we're starting with. <laughs> so today, potatoes in minced meat and veggies is what is on the menu. And I'll be starting now. I have my pot here. I am going to switch on my fire yes first thing I'll put I am actually using groundnut oil don't mind that it is uh, olive oil but the olive oil has finished I just put the groundnut oil inside <laughs> so that's what I'll be using I'm just going to pour about a quarter a quarter cup yes that should be enough and we're going to wait for it to heat up once it's hot i will be adding my onions first that's the first thing that is going inside and this recipe let me tell you the funny thing about this recipe it actually makes use of all the ingredients we use for meat pie <laughs> only that it's not meat pie we now make it in a bigger form that we can eat but it's actually what goes into meat pie that i use to make this but with as I always say, natural spices, and this time we are going to upgrade the taste. Since we are not eating it like meat pie, we are eating it alone, the taste has to be mmm. And it is. It's one of my favorite, favorite foods. I'm just waiting for it to heat up. Heat, heat, heat. You can see my pot that I'm using is my Dutch oven. This is a Tramontina Dutch oven pot. This is from uh, Shopper's Cat NG. And what I love about this pot is it cooks extremely fast. Once it is hot, it moves zoom. And this is one of the pots that, uh, you know, it's a uh, Dutch oven kind of, what material do they use again? Who can remind me? I've forgotten. But it's one of the very, very healthy pots that you can use. So my oil is starting to pop. My onions will be going in shortly. Don't worry, at the end of the video, I will repost the video and in the caption, I will have the full recipe, ingredients and method of preparation. Everything will be fully detailed for you. So you can simply follow it to make your own and watch the video too. 
don't mind me, I might still do one or few things different because I'm always like that. But let's get my onions in. I'm going to remain small of the onions so that I won't put in everything at once. I still want to get onions inside later on. That's one of the things I'm telling you will be different from the written recipe. <laughs> That's why you have to watch the video. So, mm. we don't want the onions to burn. So once it is getting, you are sensing it, you add the next ingredients. I have here minced garlic, and I'm going to toss that in. I will also remain a little bit to come in later. Okay, please know that garlic burns very fast, so we are not going to leave this in for long before we add our minced meat. Mm -hmm. Once you can start smelling the garlic, that is your signal to add the minced meat. And inside here, I have 1 kg minced meat. I don't know if I will use everything, but let me first toss in. I'm going to need a powder spoon. Let me toss in. Oh, it still did not defrost food. Eh? You see yourself? I forgot to bring it out of the freezer yesterday. I got it out this morning. And as we can see, don't be like me. This one has defrosted fully. So, just mash, mash, mash. If you don't eat meat, you can use chicken. But the issue is the chicken will cook very fast before the potato. So you might need to tweak your own method of preparation. And if you do not eat chicken either, you can maybe use fish, cook the potatoes. Instead of adding meat, you can add the potatoes and then add everything. Then when the potatoes are almost finished cooking, then you can add your fish. And if you do not eat meat or fish or anything at all, just cook it with veggies and and uh, what do they call it? Potatoes and this thing. And yes, you can use yam. You can use uh, sweet potatoes. I love Irish potatoes. I think everybody knows that by now. I love, 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 love Irish potatoes. So that is why I always use Irish potatoes. Or you can use any other thing you want. You can even use aubergine, that eggplant. You can use zucchini. So feel free. I told you it's a very basic, simple recipe. Okay. So I'm trying to break this. If it doesn't break, I'm going to remove this one that is still solidly frozen. I'm going to remove it so that it will not scatter my plants because the other ones have started frying. So, now I will add my salt and black pepper. Use Use the uh, salt, the measurement for the salt is to taste the amount of salt you use. If it's not enough, later on you can add more. So just be tasting and flavoring as you go along so that you don't end up putting too many things at the same time at the beginning. You know here in Africa, we cook as per ancestors instructions add everything add everything add everything then when they say enough my child that's when you stop <laughs> okay i'm coming It has started 
get scenting aromatic. <laughs> the aroma has started coming out. Yes. water I'm just going to add the water to start cooking it while I cut up my Irish potatoes to put inside so I'm going to just cut them into big chunks so practically just cut it into two like that you can see that's what I will be doing. Yes. As I told you, don't forget you can use any kind of roots, hard roots. Is it vegetables? Yes. That you want. Yam, sweet potatoes, zucchini, eggplant. They all go and they will all be delicious. They will taste different from my own because you know every time you change an ingredient, you change the taste. That's, that's the wonderful thing about natural cooking. Every ingredient brings its own taste. So it, you change the taste but it doesn't mean it still won't be delicious. That's why I tell people, feel free to explore. There are some of you that my, by the time you are doing this, you prefer to use different spices from the ones I use. Or maybe because you don't have certain spices, you can decide to use the ones you have available. Please feel free. Don't feel you must do it exactly the way I do it. At this point, I'm about to add my potatoes. Now, this is when the other spices come out to play. Here... I have curry, my curry is finished, this particular curry, I still have other curry, other types of curries, but this one is finished. I'm going to be adding thyme, this is a fresh jar of thyme, yes, it's, the, it's grinded, and of course, you should know this will come up now, Holy Spirit Spice, if you do not know Holy Spirit Spice by now, I have to ask you, what are you doing? <laughs> and this is habanero you can use chi uh, chili this is spicier than chili that's why and it has more flavor too i got it from fort worth farms i mentioned that yesterday and then i'm going to be adding green paste for the holy spirit spice the green paste the garlic ginger onion paste they are all on my youtube the recipes are on my youtube so this is the garlic ginger and onion so, I've added that, sorry, I was looking for my spoon again. These are all the spices that are going in and they have been added. So, I'm going to add water now. Stir well. I'm going to add a little bit more salt because of the uh, potatoes I added. Just a little bit more for now. Yes, I'm using uh, pink Himalayan salt. Uh, you can use sea salt. If you are going to use sea salt, you use a lesser amount. Sea salt is far more intense. So. And if you don't use salt, you do not need to put salt. So I'm going to cover this and let it cook. And while it is cooking, I will be cutting up my... Yeah, just a moment. While that is cooking, I will be cutting up my... Listen, let me quickly clear my uh, surface, my work space. So that I don't end up plugging things up. Let me 
cut this dry water from the potatoes. Sorry, just a moment, I'm clearing up my surface. This and this. this, this. <laughs> That's all I need here. Okay, I'm ready. So here I have red bell peppers, green bell peppers, and carrots. I might end up not using anything as I'm cutting. Once I see it's enough, I'll stop cutting. So I'll just cut them into rough chunks. These ones are not diced. They are not uh, anything. Please let me pour that water and drink the bowl. Thank you. They are going to just be in rough chunks. Rough, big chunks. That's what I'll be doing. And yes, you can see my cooking studio. We're actually still redecorating. That's why you can hear a little bit of echo. So many things are empty. We are repainting. We are doing all sorts. We are in no hurry. We are looking for what feels right. Then it will be complete. Okay. So let me, while I'm cutting, let me see if I can see a few questions <laughs> yes so the holy spirit spice is the bomb <laughs> so lots of you were waiting for it i love it i love it it goes in everything so you can see look at the rough chunks so they are just big big chunks we are not using uh finely diced just cut it whichever way you want and if you have someone that likes precisely diced precisely sliced please indulge you don't have to do da -da 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 like me <laughs> so let me be oh someone is telling me i love your smile thank you so much and yes said so, uh Mommy Susie Pa, thank you, thank you. God bless you. I love my studio. It is so me. It reflects me. It reflects my character. <laughs> Fun, bright, happy, not arranged. <laughs> yes, I know how to scatter things. <laughs> and then have people arrange after me. But the thing is, no matter how scattered it is, I always know where everything is. That's why I hate it when someone takes something and doesn't re return it back to where it was. Ah, they are looking for my fight with that. Because I always know where everything is. Always. Okay? So, anyway, if many of you can remember, sometime last year, I wrote a post and I mentioned the fact that in January, as I was waiting on the Lord for the year, the Lord told me, he said, I will use your recipes to heal. And I was like, ha, it is well, though. So that was when I really, really started working on upgrading my knowledge <clears throat> about food, reading the Bible, what God says about food. And you know, the Holy Spirit was really helping me. And that's when he brought it to my knowledge that... You see that verse that says, you will worship the Lord your God and he will bless your food and water and take sickness away from you. And the Holy Spirit told me, what takes sickness away is food. He said, when there is sickness already and there is, you, you are in need of healing, he said that is the job of herbs. It is herbs that do that. So, herbs are for healing. But for living in health and for maintaining good health, it is going to be food. And he said, that is the one he has given me. 
I do not have particular knowledge about herbs for healing. I just know how to use herbs for cooking. That's why you see I use oregano, uh, mergiodama, all those things like that. Yes, I know how to combine them for cooking. But if you are telling me I have a headache, what herbs should I use? I have no idea. That is not the calling God gave me. The calling he gave me is for food. You see, that's why I always tell people, see, there is no competition. All of us are working for God. For the same thing. And what is that same thing? That his kingdom come and his will be done. That he reaches out to people and we are a blessing to people and the world. Whatever our calling might be, the end goal is still the same. That Jesus be glorified and people be blessed. That's it. So why do we then have to be in competition? No competition. Everybody has their own role. And believe me, I'm not the only one he has called into healthy cooking. I mean, only me will I only me will I be able to service the whole world. It's not possible. So anyway, so he told me, and that was when I started upgrading uh, my knowledge and everything. And then in May this year, I started having dreams. Some kind of dreams like that. I would dream. And I'll be in my cooking studio, cooking, and suddenly I'll find myself in a hospital with, beside a sick person and, and somehow the person will be healed and everything. And I was wondering, Father, what is the meaning of this dream? What are these dreams and everything? And it was in June, he finally told me. He said, remember when I told you I'll use your... Uh, recipes to heal and even then first time I opened this kitchen studio that was I think three years ago the day before I opened it he told me to pray in this place all night and as I was praying his word came he said and from here healing will go out to all the nations that was the word he gave me and I was wondering how that will happen this was this was four years not even three years four years ago and I was wondering that, how that will happen. Why am I telling you all this? Number one, so that you will understand the way God works. So when you see things like that happening in your life, you will understand. Some of you think when God gives you an instruction, the moment he gives you, it will start happening. I've always known the healing ministry was upon me from when I was a child. Yet nothing happened. And then when he started giving me instructions and, and started giving me promises, from here, healing will go out to the nations. You will think it's immediate. This is four years later. Four years later. And after that, he has still giving, he has still giving me instructions. More instructions after that. So this is just for you to know the way God works. The fact that God said something and it hasn't yet happened in your life does not mean it will not happen. God is a very intentional God. Your own is to keep growing. As I taught on Wednesday, the responsibility of the believer that when God gives you an instruction, you also have your own responsibility to do things that will make that instruction come true. Like when he told me, I'll use your recipes to heal. Now, that automatically means I, I meant I need to know good recipes. I can't just give people yama yama recipes and then they will eat it and it will not taste good. And they'll stop eating it. If they stop eating it, how will God use it to heal? You understand? So my responsibility was to upgrade my knowledge. I need to know how to mix herbs and uh, spices. I need to know what to cook. And I need to know dishes from different nations, different cultures. Because I have to be able to reach people in different audiences. I have people watching me from all over the world and everything. So God wants to reach them too. That's part of the responsibility of a believer. So that is what has been happening so far. And then in June, he told me, he said, start the cooking show again. And when I was about to write it down, I, I wrote cooking with Lagos Housewife. And the Holy Spirit said, no, healing recipes with Lagos Housewife. That's how the name came about. So I hope someone has been encouraged. When God has shown you a vision, please keep to it. He does not lie. He does not lie. God is not a liar. Has he said it? Will he not bring it to pass? Let all men be false and God be true. So, 
Do you think this is enough for the quantity? Now, let me add more. <laughs> let me add more. So, that is it. Thank you to everyone who has supported me over the years, who have sent in testimonies at different points in time that have encouraged me. I know you see the way God works. Sometimes when I'm just feeling so down about something and I'm not, you know, just not feeling happy, and then I'll just come online and I'll just get a message from someone and the person will just be like, ah, Lagos Housewife, when you taught this, and uh, this, this happened immediately and I got my miracle. Ah, Lagos Housewife, I started cooking without seasoning cues and all of a sudden, the headache I've been having disappeared and immediately I'm lifted up and I know it's God reaching out to me, letting me know that hang in there, things might not all be the way you want now but I'm working out my word in your life and I'm so grateful to God and I'm so grateful to all of you who respond to the nudging of God to send in such encouragement I really really appreciate you and it's really <laughs> On our first episode of Healing Recipes, I don't know, I just have this belief about rain, that rain brings blessings. So whenever it rains on any special day I have, I always take it as a good sign. That's just me. It's not a biblical or anti, it's not even, it's just me. <laughs> so I'm always happy when it rains. The day we buried my mom too, it rained. Heavily, and it's kind of comforted me. And I think God sent the rain deliberately that day because He knows how I feel about rain. He knew it would be an encouragement to me on a very, very, very dark day. And it was because my mom also loved the rain. Raining season was her favorite time. <laughs> so, we are cooking. I'm looking for how to change the lyrics. Can you still hear me or is the sound really high? Okay. Hey, thank you. You said it's not about me. That rain is a good sign. Thank you. <laughs> so, let me okay spicy green ninja thank you let me read your comments and try to answer questions uh which one am, is this this instagram okay let me first go through instagram okay Motherhood Nigeria, luxury gold cakes, Hannah, Mommy Susie. <laughs> Super confectioner, you can smell it, Abby. It's really smelling really delicious. <laughs> so, Busola, you're asking what spices you can go to my YouTube. All the recipes are there. But I have stew recipes. In fact, I think I have four stew recipes. So, whichever stew you want. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Holy Spirit spice. How did you how did I prep my minced meat? I bought this particular one, but you can do your minced meat by yourself. Simply use a food processor. Use a food processor to mince your meat. Yes, I, I actually have a video of how to do your minced meat. So that is on my YouTube. I I think I have a video, Sha. Big dam. <laughs> yes, red bell pepper. Uh, Hey, mommy Susie, pass on this on that post about the holy uh, using my recipes for healing. I oh yeah, yeah, me see. We're having Irish potato in minced meat and veggies. Yes, God is good, it will happen. Yes, God is a very intentional God. Mm. Yes, and rain is a good sign. So, organic. We are making Irish potato in minced meat and veggies. 
Yes, so we need to soundproof our studio in Jesus' name. Thank you. The Lord will provide. Okay, someone is asking, can we post the video on our YouTube page also? <laughs> yes, I know a lot of people find it easier to search on YouTube. We'll work on that. Thank you. Uh, I... People are asking about the YouTube, that the recipe should be on YouTube. Okay, we'll work on that. Okay. Facebook. I'm unable to check comments on Facebook because the... The only stay are when people are posting it. <laughs> yes, my Facebook people. Thank you. Yes, rain brings blessings, showers of blessings. Thank you. Amen. To more anointing. Grace Bailey, thank you so much. Lavender Valentine, Lashin me. Thank you very much, all of you, for joining. I'm so happy. Thank you. So let me check what is cooking again. Oh, the cover is hot now. Okay. The potatoes are still a bit hard, but let me just quickly taste for salt. Perfect. So, yeah. What are we going to discuss next? How many of you have subscribed to my YouTube channel? Hmm? Is it good like that if you have not subscribed? Help me subscribe now. Help me watch the videos. That's one of the ways I can make money. So that YouTube can be paying me and I'll be able to churn out more free recipes. You know, a lot of people have been asking me, ah, why don't you hold a cooking class and everything? Well, God has not given me the clearance for cooking class. He says, give your recipes free. So I'm giving it free and God has been faithful. He is always providing and everything. But he also told me to grow my YouTube channel. And there's a reason he told me to grow it. It's not just about the money with God at all. It's not just about the money. He wants me to grow it so that it will reach other people. Not just my followers on Facebook and Instagram. So please help me be a part of that yes is it possible to pin it thank you so much the the cloth is ankara <laughs> it's ankara material what's even the name of the person who made it a uh, handle i forgot to now i'll tag it in the caption the person that made this uh, she's online, she's on YouTube, uh, sorry, <laughs> she's on Instagram. <laughs> hey, thank you so much, Mommy Susie Pat. So all of you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Ah, that's the, that's the one with this potato. <laughs> if it was sweet potato now, it would have softened by now. Oh, I'm just not a fan of sweet potato, don't mind me. Okay, what else? Let me be cutting the, the spring onions. I won't put the spring onions yet. That will come when the food is already done and when I have switched it off. You know, spring onions, they are very delicate. They don't need to be overcooked. Just steam is enough to cook them. So, let me just... Cut off the hair part. And yes, I was hearing that you can grow these parts. I'm not very good in gardening. I've been saying with my mouth since all these days that I will, I will have a vegetable garden. I will have a vegetable garden. It is still with mouths. I'm looking for someone who will teach me. Because I don't know how to grow things. And the funny thing was my mom had all this. So vegetable garden... She grew a fairy, a fall, ugu, tomato, pepper, okra, as in 
so many things tatashe we had fruits is well though all these things one should have learned from our parents is now we are now appreciating it god will help us and bring back the knowledge for us mm. thank you father thank you jesus okay so i've caught that sorry let me just drink water This is actually my smoothie jar, the smoothie jar of my breville. <laughs> but I love it. It comes with two. So I took one and started using it for water, up and down. <laughs> yes, quick, 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 be fast now. Don't you know people are waiting to see the final product? Be fast. This is actually fast, the pot faster than regular pot so for those of you who saw my post where i was saying use dutch oven it, it really it's not talking about oven oven per se it's this kind of pot they call dutch oven they are very heavy so ah, i'm already getting hungry <laughs> it's sweet my son is here he's in the back He's looking at me and saying he too is hungry. <laughs> Everybody is waiting for the food. <laughs> it's already smelling delicious, Abby. Let me see. Once I can actually break, okay, you see, that broke easily. Once you can break with the spoon like this, it is time to toss in this okay personally i'm someone that i really don't like crunchy carrots even in my fried rice i don't like crunchy carrots so that's why i'm going to cover it and let it soften a bit before i add the bell peppers but if you're someone who likes crunchy carrots you can simply add it with the bell peppers and let them just steam lightly together and then the food is ready. But I want the carrots to soften a bit. After it has softened, we're good to go. We're good to go. So, uh, I'm actually thinking of having people send in recipes, native recipes. I want to learn about dishes from other tribes, from other countries. So if you know you have a favorite native recipe that you can teach me how to do and I can cook it on the show using natural ingredients and I will mention you and give you credit for teaching me, I'll be very, very grateful so that we can all learn and grow together. You never know what will end up being another person's favorite favorite meal it might just be your favorite food so soups foods swallow you know we like swallow in my house anything i'm eager to learn whatever tribe whatever nation please send it to my dm instagram facebook send it to me i'll be so glad to receive them and try them out thank you <laughs> Can I blenders that can be used to prep meat. If you do not have a very, very, very solid blender, please don't try it. It can spoil your blender. A food processor works best for that. There are some blenders that can do it. It's not as if they are not. But they are these top range blenders. Like we are talking of Blendtec, you are talking of Ninja. Yes, they can do it. But for the normal, regular blenders, it can spoil it too. So be careful. <laughs> yes, cooked car yes, cooked carrot is yes, cooked carrot is actually uh it has higher nutrients than raw. So those of you that like eating raw uh, carrots, it's not as if it still doesn't have nutrients, only that cooked one boom pumps it up, pumps up the released nutrients, and your body is able to absorb it better. So you can actually just choose to boil your carrots and blend it as smoothie or boil it and use it for stew, you know? 
things like that. Oh, you are not seeing the video. I'll post it up. I'll post it up. Okay, that should be done. We don't want it too soft because the veggies are still, the bell peppers are still going inside right now. Okay. So let's wait for that small. Ah, uh, excuse me, let me go and get my plates that I'll use to plate. I'll be back. I'm back with my bowl. Ooh. I keep forgetting I'm using hand to open the cover. Okay, let me see the carrots. That one doesn't want me to eat it. to add here I have mixed veggies is a four shoko tete and small ugu I always love adding greens to my food this is leftover from the air force soup I made yesterday so I just kept it in the fridge and I'm using it so the food is ready Well. I'm going to need a little bit of water of the sauce. Just a moment. Look at that. See how perfect and delicious that is. Let me switch this off. And so that is it for today. How long did it take? How many minutes have we been on? 54 minutes and that's just because I was talking in between and all that so Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to post up the video now and I'll see you next week Father we give you the glory we give you the honor we give you the adoration We declare as we go into the new week it is blessed unto us no weapon fashioned against us will prosper I ask for your blessings and healing upon your people. Let your name be glorified in Jesus mighty name We have prayed Amen. So, yes, I'm just going to sprinkle these spring onions 
on top. I don't like cooking the spring onions. So that's it for today. Stay blessed. Bye.